Just how dangerous is a cup of coffee? We love a good cuppa at risk bites, so we were rather dismayed when a Californian judge declared coffee companies in the state would have to display a cancer warning label. The problem is, when coffee beans are roasted, the chemical acrylamide is produced. This is classified by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC for short, as probably causing cancer. Thankfully though, things aren't as bad as they sound. IARC, which is part of the World Health Organization, assesses whether something has the potential to cause cancer, but not the likelihood of cancer actually occurring. In other words, California's ruling could be really bad news for coffee junkies, or it might just mean that your chances of getting cancer from coffee are marginally less than winning the national lottery. The trouble is, just providing information on the possibility of something bad happening and not saying anything about the probability is about as useful as a one-handed clap, not very. Nevertheless, seeing as California has paved the way here, we thought we'd look at some other improbable ways that coffee might kill, maim, or otherwise harm you, just in case. 1. A sack of coffee beans falling on your head. 2. Being run over by a runaway hipster gourmet coffee cart. 3. Dousing yourself in scalding hot coffee because you didn't read the label that said, Caution, hot coffee. 4. Choking on a coffee bean. 5. Choking on a chocolate-coated coffee bean. 6. Insomnia madness from drinking too much coffee. 7. A fatal lack of concentration from drinking too little coffee. 8. Getting bowled out by a coffee-deprived boss. 9. Asphyxiation from shoving coffee beans up your nose. Seriously, do not do this. And 10. Pigging out on donuts. Because let's face it, what's the point of coffee without the carbs? Of course, while any of these might possibly happen, the probability is rather low, meaning that despite all the things that might happen when you go for your morning cup of joe, you'll probably be okay. The same goes for California's carcinogen label. Here, there's certainly data to indicate that you might possibly get cancer from the acrylamide in coffee, although you'd have to drink a heck of a lot of it, and you also have to balance this against the health benefits of the drink. But the likelihood? That's a whole other matter. In the meantime, I'm off for a cuppa.